Welcome back to the show, folks. Mr. H here for your daily dose of pop culture and movie news, The Wrap Up, hosted by me, Mr. H Reviews. On today's show, the Swamp Thing's been cancelled. What the hell is going on here? Well, there were some reports that came out yesterday, uh, but then there's some more information which has been scooped up as well. So we're going to be talking about that. So guys, let's get right into it. We're talking Swamp Thing. Okay. Now what I've done is I've compiled this. This is over on uh, Collider. They've compiled it together. This is probably the it's probably the most comprehensive look uh, that we've that we've got of this. Uh, essentially, there's the reason why um, is because when this news broke last night, there was a whole bunch of misinformation floating around. So it says, obviously, that was quick. Uh, it's been cancelled after one episode uh, last week. This is DC Universe, which is obviously, I believe it's all part of uh, Warner Bros. as well. If I remember rightly, it might not be, but we've got, we, it dropped its first episode and it was near universally praised. I mean, people really liked this show. People really liked this show, but after one episode, bang, it's axed, it is cut. And why? Well, I mean, they do comment saying, obviously, this is confusing for many, many reasons. Uh, among them, obviously, because the show garnered great positive reviews. And it really did. Critics were were thinking that the show was fantastic. Now, its main developer was James Wan. He put his name behind it all. He was the executive producer. We also had IT co-writer Gary Doberman uh, co-writing the pilot script and Len Wiseman was on board to executive produce and direct the pilot itself. So there's a lot of positives, but why was it cancelled? Well, it seems, and this is what they've been saying, and this is what you can... Because when this news dropped, it was just the news that it was cancelled. And a lot of people were speculating uh, it was to do with reviews, finances, things like this. But there's actually more behind it than that. There's executives that weren't happy. There was some form of tax rebate, which we'll, we'll get involved in in a second. There's, it's a big mess. Basically, it's, an, it's a huge mess. So it says, Why has Swamp Thing been given the axe after only one episode? The DC Universe has clearly been having some problems building up its subscriber base. Any streaming service is going to have this problem. Any streaming service needs to realise you're combating or you're competing with giants right now. Giants. Netflix, although it, although it keeps raising its subscription and although... It doesn't always land with its uh, Netflix originals and things like this. It has a huge base. So people tend to refuse uh, or they begrudge paying for more streaming services when they only offer one thing. Netflix offers everything. It's like an all-in-one package. And people really do need to start realizing this. This should have been part of their risk evaluation before setting this whole thing up was that they were going to have problems building a subscriber base. But it says, obviously, as evidenced by the many free promotions trying to convince people uh, to try it, which, is, yeah, is absolutely true. So the trouble in Swamp Thing's waters, ha, 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 first surfaced in April when we learned that the show's 13 episodes, they were just cut down to 10. So it went from 13 episodes to 10, obviously thinking about budgets, thinking about people watching it. And they, they obviously think in long-term projections in terms of whether they can garner the uh, subscriber base that they wanted to make it profitable clearly and then it states uh, in the middle of production the cause of this abrupt shutdown was likely due to a paperwork error that caused north carolina um, to say no nope on its promised tax rebate which was valued at 40 million which was half of something's budget something's budget was 80 million dollars $80 million. That is more than Birds of Prey's entire budget. Which we'll get to. We will get to it. But yeah, that is more than Birds of Prey's entire budget. Insanity. But obviously, they were holding off on that tax rebate coming back. Because of course, that you know weighs up the cost of the show and it, it reduces it. So it says, which put, which put um, intense budgetary pressure on Warner Bros. So it is Warner Bros. While that means a season two would not be able to shoot in North Carolina, surely there are other locations to choose from. But no, because they built a ridiculously expensive swamp out of concrete uh, where all of the main 
parts of this show were going to be taking place was this huge concrete swamp. That is incredibly expensive to just up and you can't up and move it. Um, you'd have had to have demolished it and then rebuilt another one. But that set piece is very expensive. And when you start to look into it, that is part and parcel of it. So it says, per bloody disgusting, the series lost uh, the series lost support from executives before it even aired. Warner Bros, what do you think you're doing? Seriously? With those in charge worried about subscribers and reach despite the positive reviews. Bloody Disgusting reports that there were creative differences between several people involved with the show, with some pushing for the series to veer into the horror genre. That's why you get James Wan, is it not? Is it not? That is why you do all the marketing the way you did. You know, pushing a horror narrative. Is it not? Unbelievable. While others believed it would be better crafted as a weekly procedural. Again, there are even reports to say that they wanted it to be much more like the CW shows. Why? Why? In the end, it appears an agreement couldn't be made. Either, either that or DC Universe just decided it was better to scrap the whole thing altogether and move on. This is not great. DC Universe launched with the R-rated series Titans and premiered the comedy series Doom Patrol earlier this year. While Titans has Batman and such entering its second season, it's actually the weirder Doom Patrol uh, that's been garnering the most buzz. Swamp Thing felt like a solid diversification of tone for the DC Universe library, but apparently it wasn't the right fit for the higher ups. And that's the thing as well. Where's the incentive to come to DC Universe's streaming now? Where's the incentive? Because if the shows are all the same, and there is no no uh, difference in tone or there's just where's the offerings unbelievable so oh and it states hold on uh, update all 10 episodes or something are expected to air on dc universe where members can watch a new episode every friday well that's of course they were going to this is the swamp that i was talking about as well this set that's a built set um out of concrete and it's very very expensive um look this is so 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 stupid what a what a Totally dumb decision by DC. Warner Bros. You you should have factored this in. This should have been, you know, your, your P&Ls, profit and loss. You should have factored all of this in. Um, and also the fact that this is all hinged on a piece of paperwork. Shame on you. Shame on you. Where's, where's the interest now? I mean, what are you going to be offering? DC Universe going forward will be Stargirl, a spin-off of Titans. That's expected to debut next year, and they're also developing a prequel series, Metropolis, which will follow Lo which will follow Lois Lane and Lex Luthor before the arrival of Superman. The characters are only interesting because they interact with Superman. Lex Luthor is only an interesting villain because of Superman. Why? Who, in their right mind, thinks that this is a good decision? Who in their right mind thinks that this is the right way to go? What are you offering? Seriously? And what baffles me the most is the fact that this, this part here. With some of the executives pushing for the series to veer into horror genre, while others believed it would be better crafted as a weekly procedural. Why did you get James Wan? He's only noted, he rose to you know notoriety through his horror genre. Why on earth would you not want it to be a horror based on that? Super, super bizarre. Super, just terrible decisions. Terrible decisions. I'm surprised they're not hemorrhaging money. Um, or I guess they are now because they've lost 40 million. Uh, but I, I hand it on over to you. What do you think about this? Did you catch the pilot? Were you looking forward to this show? And are you one of the people that is actually on board for the DC Universe? Have you got the DC Universe at all? Is this something that you're actually interested in? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do let me know down below.